Well, there is no stopping our seniors. A little cold and snow is not going to stop high school graduations across the Front Range. Students and families brave the cold weather for this outdoor ceremony at Ponderosa High School in Parker. And west of Castle Rock, it looked the same. So much snow. Sean Chinnis joins us live from that location. Sean, safe to say today will be unforgettable for Douglas County High graduates. Karen, unforgettable for probably everyone who came out to this ceremony. How often do you have the choice between spring flowers as well as a snowball fight on graduation day? Still plenty of snow here at this hour, but really it was barely a distraction for these seniors. The crowd at Douglas High School looked more like fans of a winter football game than proud parents of seniors graduating in the spring. But these students were just as excited to get to this day. It feels pretty good. It uh, feels pretty good to know that we're finally done. Uh, it's cold outside, though. That's the problem. The school delayed graduation by five hours to let things warm up. Some seniors slept in, but Christopher Diaz still had plenty to do before commencement. It worked out pretty well for me because I'm a part of IB, so I had testing at like 6 30 in the morning. The key to keeping warm on a day like this layers. I got sweatpants on underneath my uh, dress pants. And I got a thermal shirt on, so two pairs of socks. So I think uh, I think I'm faring a little bit better than most people. Not everyone took the same strategy with them on the field. I just feel bad for the people wearing like dresses and shorts. So I know they they're faring they're not faring too well. But Diaz's loved ones likely struggled more than most. My grandparents flew out from Puerto Rico, so they're obviously not used to this kind of weather, especially not in May. A day to remember, no matter what and maybe a little easier thanks to the snow. I think it makes it more memorable. It's already a memorable enough experience, but this helps. So right here, just one of two graduations that had to be pushed back because of the weather, and we know many more happening throughout the rest of the week, but they likely will have slightly better, better weather than what we saw today. Live tonight in Castle Rock, Sean Chitness covering Colorado First. Thank you, Sean.